Hi friends, welcome back to another episode of Fix This House. On today's episode, I'm going to be showing you some tips and tricks that I use whenever I start painting a room and hopefully it'll help you on your painting job. So friends, if you're new to the channel, please consider pressing that like, subscribe, and notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how-to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. Again, the very, very important thing before painting is doing the prep work, preparing the surface, and also dropping off any areas that you would think that paint will actually touch or come in contact with because to be honest with you, paint gets everywhere and you you might think that it might not get into a certain spot, but it definitely will find a way to get contact on places that you don't think it will get in contact with. Installed some new vinyl flooring, so this will help really well. Now when it comes to outlet and switch covers, I actually take these cover plates off because it actually saves me a lot more time rather than having to mask off the whole perimeter of the cover and it saves me a lot more on masking tape material. Now since I am painting a bathroom, I'd like to take off anything that might get in the way as well such as these toilet paper dispensers and also the toilet paper because I don't want toilet paint getting all over my toilet paper. And of course, anything that's exposed like these, like the holders for them, I end up masking as well. Now when it comes to odd size objects like this toilet seat for example, I like to use a 7mm uh, uh, plastic drop because it actually costs a lot less and I don't have to use those expensive paper covers like I did on the floor and it saves a lot more time. So when it comes to the windows, I like to use masking tape to cover the perimeter of the window. I like to take my time on these and actually use a box cutter to cut off any excess on each side so that it it doesn't uh, any paint doesn't catch onto or seep through the through the cracks and get into the window itself so make sure you take your time now surface preparatory is very important if you have any bumps like these or holes on the wall I actually made a video on how to fill those gaps so check out the link on the top right corner and also I like to wipe anything down free of dust so that the paint will adhere a lot better if you're using any type of ladder or stepping ladder like this one I like to cover it with the same plastic material that I covered my my toilet with I like doing this because you never know whenever you're painting up above the ceilings and the sides you get paint splatter and I don't want that going all over my ladder now let's go over all the materials that I'll be using to get this paint job done again all the supplies and all the materials that I use in this video I'll leave it on the link down below so it'll make it easier for you I got paint brushes pan covers these are very cheap I'm also be using some of these rollers doesn't matter what kind, whichever you prefer. This pan right here for the paint for the plastic covers, just like that. Put it right there. And I'm using also a paint roller. Now these are very important. Make sure you keep this clean so that it continues to roll like that. Now the paint that I'll be using for this project is the eggshell finish. It has a little bit of shine into it, which is perfect for the walls. And it is by Glidden and it's also interior paint it already has primer in it all right so now prepare your roller make sure it is nice and clean and it is rolling really well like this if it isn't make sure you clean your roller so that it has a nice uh, rolling motion just like that this paint has actually been sitting for a couple of weeks so make sure that you get your stir stick and start mixing the all the solution all in one make sure you mix it up real well so you can get the best quality finish for your paint now this paint doesn't come cheap so make sure that you mix it well and also use nitro gloves whenever you're doing this project to get um, for easier cleanup now one of the tricks that i like to do is put masking tape on the lid because i am going to be pouring this and i don't want paint all over dripping down the can so a little trick that i use if you don't have a little tiny visor for it just make one up your own using this method right here with using the masking tape and as you can see it just pours nice and well onto the pan and it has few drips you will get a few drips but not as much as if you didn't have one of these plus it's easier to take out and just throw away now you don't have to oversaturate your roller just use what you need i also like to cover the handle of my roller with masking tape this makes cleanup a lot easier because it, whenever you're painting you will get it on your hands and it's going to get on the handle and then you're going to end up having to clean that handle so the easier way to do it is just cover it up and then when you're done just peel it off and there you have nice and easy cleanup 
now this is a very cool trick that i like to use this is actually a, a flashing made out of tin it has a nice perfect 90 degree and straight edge which is i highly recommend you use this instead of just plain cardboard because cardboard will get wet and get all soaked up and this maintains its integrity and it makes it so that you don't have to use so much masking tape on each side now it's so totally up to you if you want to use this method i i personally like using this method because it saves me so much masking tape and so much time and if you see the edges right there it's very very well on its edges so i highly suggest that you try this trick for yourself you like it or not i, I like to use this method so it's something that i like to share with you guys and you can actually reuse this whenever you're done using it so make sure that you built it and construct it real well before i start painting the main wall i like to tackle the corners first because this will save me a lot more time rather than using the roller to try to get those edges so make sure you tackle those corners and edges first so that it'll make your job your paint experience a lot easier and faster whenever you get into the roller part I like to use my custom tool that I use right here to cover up the ceiling and the edge as well just in case I slip on my roller it doesn't get all over my ceiling because I am going to finish my ceiling with a different uh, finish which is going to be a flat uh, finish. This is eggshell so I don't want that all over my ceiling. So continuing on again uh, there's an example right there where the light fit, light cover is actually taped with the masking tape i didn't want to take that off and i like to show you um, other options as well i'm tackling the window i like to paint the whole thing white just to blend in with this uh, nice window shelf so that's going to get painted as well so i'm just using my paintbrush to tackle all underneath and over in different edges of this tiny little shelf on my window but i'm done using my step ladder as you can see it's nice and clean now that we covered it with that plastic drop and it makes your job a lot faster and easier without having to clean up anything now i like to tackle all those little um very tedious areas such as those uh the light uh switches and outlets and here you go as you can see that my brush is pointed the other way so that the roller side doesn't get all over the edge i also like to add that using a pole stick like this to attach to your roller makes the job a lot easier and easier on your arms and it will reduce fatigue because this will actually uh, give you some leverage whenever you're painting and it makes the job a lot faster and easier whenever you're trying to reach high spots and try, just trying to save you know save your time and not getting fatigued but overall some areas like this room is actually really tight so using that pole um, is very very tight so i just like to use it just the roller itself now it is very important that when you're done painting to take off all the masking tape right away because if you do, if you wait very long and the paint dries over your masking tape there is a chance that you you will peel off that dried paint so friends, I hope you found some value into this video and gave you some insight on some of the tips and tricks that I use whenever I'm painting a room. So if you could kindly please hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how-to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. Thank you so much for tuning in, friends. I'll see you on the next video.